In this video, we're going to review a solution to the challenge either callback. The prompt says to add code to the function either callback in the place marked add code here in order to achieve the desired console logs. Notice that the lines of code testing your work are using functions and an array from previous challenges. The result of using either callback to combine two callbacks into one callback, so we're returning a function here, and then passing that one callback into filter array should match the results of simply passing the two callbacks into either filter from the previous challenge. And just as a reminder, the array returned from either filter contained all elements in the passed in array that yielded a truthy return value when passed into either of the two callbacks passed in. So the hardest part of this challenge is really wrapping our heads around what the either callback function should be doing. In order to do that, let's look at the lines of code testing our work and see how either callback is going to be used. So the first thing I'll do is uncomment this using command forward slash. You see here that they've provided a function named filter array. We'll look at that in a moment. But right after that, they declare an array of numbers absolutely named R of nums and then three functions. So the first function is integer square root, which will return true if the input passed in has a square root that is an integer. And then we have over 100, which is a function that will return true if the integer is over 100. And then we have integer square root or over 100. And this is gonna be the result of calling our function above either callback. And we pass in these two callbacks and the function returned from either callback will return true if integer square root returns true or over 100 returns true. And then this integer square root or over 100 gets used in filter array, which will iterate over an array and push each element to a result array that gets returned if the callback passed in returns true. So now that we have a pretty good idea of how either callback is going to be used, let's go ahead and pseudo code out what we'll be doing. So like I've said, we're going to want to return a function here. And we want this function to return the boolean representing whether either callback returns true. Great, so let's go ahead and code this out. We'll return a function using the ES6 arrow function syntax. I'm going to move my pseudocode into the body there. And then we want to return the result of whether or not callback one is true or callback two invoked is true. Oh yeah, and we're also gonna to need to have some parameters to take our arguments, right? So in here, we can see when we're calling it, we're gonna have three arguments. We have array at i, that's gonna be an element from our array, then we have the index, and then we have array. We'll pass all three of those into our callback. Note that we're only actually using the element in the functions that we're using down here, but it's okay to go ahead and write these as if we'd wanna use the index in array at a later time. So if callback one invoked returns true or callback two invoked returns true, this function that we're returning will return true. Now that I've written this out, let's run our code and make sure it passes all the tests. It does, we have our three green check marks and then we console log an array that contains 105 because it's over 100 and nine because its square root is three, which is an integer. 